Hey fam, uh, something a little bit different. Clearly, you're not expecting this. Hey Spooky, hey Spooky cat. <laughs> he always wants to be around me. Oh, so, what's going on? Well, as you can see, things are a little bit different this month. That uh, I, Coco Crow, or Skylar, um, hijacking uh, emo pixie to a degree. <sighs> Gotta stay tuned to find out what's going on in this month. So, for the time being, you're stuck with me. And yes, I am laying around the garage with all the pretty little lights. So, yeah, Spooky's coming back to say hello. Spooky, my cute little boy, Ancha. <laughs>5th of March now, so uh, getting a couple of days in, uh, a bit going on. Anyone who knows me knows I like my technology. That's yeah, my cr crazy little setup there, as you can see. Um, I'm currently doing some 3D printing, as you can see. Oh, yeah, building some stuff because you know, there's certain things around the place that uh, they never give you. Like you can't buy the stuff that you need, so this is this is stuff for the house. Anyway, um, bit of March, and I like customizing things. And uh, if if anyone's seen any of my stuff on my computer before, you will know I do this sort of stuff. I put stickers over everything. You can sort of see it a lot more over there. So uh, yeah. I'm about to go do that with something else of mine. Alrighty, uh, as you can see, nice big pile of stickers. And you know, I wanted something just to stand out a bit more. So, I don't like boring stuff. So, on to the next thing. Look at, look at this cheeky boy. So, here I am getting all ready because I've got to get all nice and clean and all these sort of stuff because uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's the big day. That's a day where a lot of things happen and uh, Spooky Boy here, he seems to think he's coming with me. Don't ya? I've uh, got the suitcase ready mostly the other day but uh, I've got it back out of course to do the last minute prep the last few things in that um like i need to use today like my shaver and stuff like that um and then well i've weighed it i've got plenty of weight in there i don't really need anything else not for uh how long i'm going away for um and there's enough in the suitcase just he wants to come he could fit like weight wise he would fit <laughs> but um not 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 coming with me 
you gotta stay here boy you do you do you gotta stay here he doesn't know what to do now but yeah so started some of my prep work for um, I'm going away like yeah I have to get my first lot of yeah dolling myself up get stuck in the face already and everything because um uh, yeah um as soon as I get to my destination pretty much I have to uh unpack my suitcase and start dolling up uh for going out so might not see that this video might be next video um but there's a big surprise which is what this has all been leading up to as to why i've taken over so yeah that's the thing so see you soon Terminal 3. Not exactly the best angle for uh, shenanigans, but uh, yeah, I am in the airport. As you probably be able to figure out by now, I uh, am going on a trip. So let's go get ourselves checked in and everything like that. Not too bad. Yeah. So, at Melbourne International Airport, but domestic fly. Alright, just dropped off my bag, just flying with Virgin. So, uh, heading over to the departure gates now. Um, I'm early, like quite a fair bit early, but I prefer to be then late. Gave me the option to change my flight to another one, but I'm like, nah. I will uh, go as scheduled. So, getting through the uh, check-ins is a little different than the last time I went here. I had to go through all the uh, scanners and you know, like all this stuff on my clothes because you know, got all the stuff like that. So it's like, ah, uh, we're gonna have to give you a pat down just to make sure. And it's like, yeah, it's all good. I don't care. A little different though. Drug tested and all. Just because they want to be sure, which is fair enough. I get that. Now I'm just walking down to where uh, my plane will eventually be. I'm about uh, an hour and a half early for the flight. So yeah, like I could have changed to the earlier Virgin flight for free. Um, but I didn't bother with that because then would have meant changing seats and everything else and yeah I don't care about that if I get in a little bit later it's fine it's still relatively early I still get in um, to my destination by early afternoon so yeah I'm just walking around in terminal 3 of uh, Melbourne airport now find out yeah, where I want to be if I want to get some brekkie probably will get brekkie right, okay. I usually do but, uh, yeah Just, that's a different named one but yeah Good flight. Up we go. Ah, made it to uh, Brisbane Airport. So now I'm just waiting, you know, for luggage to start coming around once it does grab that go outside call up to get lift to my uh, car rental which 
is just around the corner kind of thing. I've just got to book it, but I have to grab my luggage first, and that way they're not here waiting for me. Uh, not exactly book it, you just call them and go, hey, come pick me up. So, uh, yeah, I will be doing that in a moment. Um, and then on to my uh, final destination, where, uh, where from there on is when all the action's going to happen. Um, yeah, so... Hey fam, so I've gone to my destination. Now I've got to find if someone's here when I get here. So where am I? I'm at uh, Northlands. Uh, Northlands is the home of uh, Adam's family tattoos. So you can tell, uh, tell who I'm here to see now. Just gotta find where in this building that they are and uh, go from there. Which, down around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Actually, I gotta make sure did I did 100% lock the car because I'm not used to this car. But it's definitely locked. Awesome. All right, let's do this. It's been a uh, Three years since last time I saw this lovely person. So here we go. Mm. Ah! <laughs> Didn't quite get me. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking properly. I was a joke. Yep. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 